Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Check this out. Hello everybody, welcome to the Impressive channel. I wanna talk about Beyonce. Is Beyonce ignoring her half siblings? Well, apparently one of her half siblings, Nixon Knowles, feels like she is, and he oftentimes cries to his mother and asks, why doesn't Beyonce love me? Allegedly, this is all according to The Sun. Now I'm gonna break this story down, but before I do, I first wanna thank Rocket Money for sponsoring this video. Do you have challenges managing your finances and reaching your financial goals? Trust me, if you do, you're not alone. Managing money can be a challenge for us all, but that's where Rocket Money steps in. Rocket Money is an all-in-one personal finance platform that helps you save more money and spend less. The Rocket Money app is loaded with features to help you manage your finances and reach your financial goals. With Rocket Money, you can cancel unwanted subscriptions. That's right, Rocket Money safely and securely identifies reoccurring charges and can cancel unwanted subscriptions for you with just a tap. Rocket Money can also lower your bills. You heard me right, lower your monthly bills. By simply uploading a photo and tapping a button, Rocket Money can negotiate your bills for you. This goes from internet service bills to cell phone and cable bills. Rocket Money also allows you to create easy to follow financial budgets that can automatically monitor your spending by category, give friendly notifications when you exceed your budget, and graphically visualize your spend to earn ratio by month, quarter, or year. Additionally, Rocket Money can help you keep track of your credit score and payment history. Download the Rocket Money app now and unlock even more features with premium. Go to rocketmoney.com slash impressive or click the link in the description box. Now back to the video, I wanna get into this whole story about Beyonce and the relationship or the lack of relationship she has with her half siblings. I wanna give a backstory first. Beyonce's father, Matthew Knowles, cheated on her mother, Tina, when they were married, and he was rumored to have multiple affairs with different women, but two of those women ended up having his baby. Now, one of the women was a former stripper and dancer named Takoya Branscombe. Reports said that she was friends with Solange, but Solange did come out and deny it. But either way, she ended up having a child with Matthew and they had a daughter named Koi Knowles. Takoya said while she was having an affair with Matthew, he treated her like she was the love of his life. But after she gave birth to their daughter, she said that he didn't want anything to do with the child. When you told Matthew Knowles that you were pregnant with his child, how did he react? Uh, very much, well, you can't get pregnant by me. <laughs> You know, it can't be my child. You can't deny it once DNA test comes out 99.9% .9 that you are the father. All single ladies, all single ladies. So Takoya actually had to go to court with Matthew to prove that he was the father and she was ordering him to pay child support. And it was kind of a messy situation because Matthew not only had to go through this with Takoya, but he also went through this with another one of his former side chicks named Alexandra Wright. Matthew and Alexandra had a two-year affair that resulted in them having a son together named Nixon Knowles. Alexandra told the son that she was working for PR in Microsoft and that's when she met Matthew. They were doing an entertainment deal for Beyonce and then Matthew insisted that she worked more closely with him. And she said he had a lot of bravado. He was very persistent. He said, I'm gonna stay until Seattle until you have a drink with me. And he stayed for two or three weeks until I finally said, fine. She added, I was not conflicted about the situation because his marriage was not a functioning marriage. I don't think he told his family about me. It was a complex situation and the family structure had been fractured for a long time. I would say I was in love, but in hindsight, we both were workaholics and we became codependent. Now things took a shift when Alexandra got pregnant. She said that she got pregnant in 2009 
And this was around the time when he was being audited and Beyonce was kind of discovering that her father was kind of mishandling her funds, which is the reason why she let him go as her manager. But also it was rumored that she let him go because she probably learned about his extramarital affairs and she wasn't having that. She wasn't with him cheating on her mother, Tina, allegedly. But yeah, that's what happened. And Alexandra said that once Matthew realized that he was losing his position as Beyonce's manager, things started to change in their relationship. And she said at one point they had joint credit cards and bank accounts and everything. They even rented two beach houses. But when the money started to dry up, that's when he cut her off financially and she ended up leaving the relationship. At least this is what she told the son. After doing that, she served him with legal papers that forced him to take a DNA test to prove that he was the father of their son, Nixon. And she said she ended up spending $250,000 in legal fees going to court over this. So she was in the hole and at one point, she barely had a roof over her head. If she didn't get assistance, she would have been homeless. A homeless support group arranged for the trailer so Alexandra wouldn't be out on the street after she was forced to go on public assistance. I'm in the middle of the fight for my son's rights. I got over a thousand death threats last week alone. Um, um, what? Uh, because this article said that I blame Beyonce, which again, let me say for the record, it's not her fault. I've never blamed her. I want the best for her. Everyone's in pain. Now, Alexandra has come out once again, and she did an interview with The Sun, and she actually gave an update of how her son Nixon is doing. Unfortunately, Matthew Knowles is still not involved in Nixon's life, according to her. And now that Nixon is older, she said that he's wondering why his superstar older half-sister, Beyonce, doesn't talk to him. He lives 10 miles away from Beyonce's mansion, and Alexandra told the son that he would oftentimes ask, why doesn't that person love me? So he could be questioning why doesn't his father love him or why doesn't his half siblings love him? I mean, Beyonce and Solange are his older half siblings and he wonders why there is no contact, allegedly. So the whole situation just seems kind of sad. I feel bad for the child, but not for the mother. I think the mother could have kept this interview. I don't see the purpose of her going to the son to give an update on how strained Nixon's relationship is with his father and his older sisters. I think it puts more negative attention on him. And I don't know if she really considers that when she does interviews like this, or maybe she knows but doesn't care. But I think Alexandra needs to stop talking to the press because she's not gonna get Matthew's attention and she's definitely not gonna get Beyonce's attention as much as she tries. She had a whole affair with a married man, slept with him and helped break up the family home. Even though she's not the full blame, Matthew really takes most of the blame because he was carrying on with several different affairs and to hear that he allegedly doesn't have much involvement in some of his children's lives is deadbeat behavior to me. I don't care if he pays child support, but yeah, he definitely takes the blame for breaking up his family, but also Alexandra played some part in it. And now she has to deal with the consequences of that. Now she has to deal with her son not being embraced by the family. Her actions played a part in that. So I think running to the press to get an interview and gain sympathy is just pointless. Beyonce does not have to have a relationship with her younger half siblings. And it sounds harsh, but it is what it is. I could imagine that maybe seeing those half siblings reminds Beyonce of her father's infidelity towards her mother. Children are innocent, but unfortunately, a lot of times children have to deal with the sins of their parents. They have to face the consequences of what their parents did. And it's unfair, but it's what happens, which is why some adults need to learn how to make better decisions. Stop cheating on your spouses and stop sleeping with married people. This situation almost reminds me of the Jackson family situation. I don't know if y'all remember, years ago, a story came out where Joe Jackson's love child, Jonna V. Jackson came out and she was kind of talking about being ostracized by the Jackson family. And it's unfortunate because she really wasn't at fault, but she had to bear the sins of her mother and father. Joe cheated on his wife and had an affair with another woman that resulted in him producing an outside child. 
and the Jacksons didn't want anything to do with the outside child. I think the only person Jonavi said reached out to her was the oldest sister, Reby Jackson, but everybody else was like, eh, get somebody else to do it. And she talked about a moment where she did actually meet Janet, but Janet was very turned off by her, and this is what happened. Well, I was so excited to meet Janet. We met up at Reby's house, and we were having, you know, pretty good conversation until I said, Daddy. And she got upset. But the reason that she got upset was because he did not allow them to call him Daddy. Oh. What'd they call him? Jeff. Joseph. Joseph. Oh. And you know what? This just goes to show that, you know, you really cannot determine what's going to bother a person deeply and what they hang on to. Mm -hmm. So just think about it. The Jacksons not only felt the pain and the betrayal of their father's infidelity towards their mother, but they also felt the hurt that their father wouldn't even allow them to call him daddy, but he allowed the outside child to call him daddy. So it almost seemed as if the outside child, Jonafi, got more love than they did. So that's a lot of hurt. That's a lot of pain. And I could understand why they didn't want to fool with their half sister. And it's unfortunate for Jana V because she had to deal with that rejection. But this comes to show that when parents make poor decisions, their children will always be affected by it. But that was a little detour from the original topic. I don't think Beyonce or Solange is at fault if they don't want to meet their half younger siblings. I don't think they're obligated to. I think maybe their half siblings reminds them of the hurt that their mother went through. So they're definitely going to be hesitant to even reach out to them. But who knows? Maybe things will change in the future. Anyway, tell me what you all think about this video down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video if you care. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, wow. I feel for the young lady. I feel for the children. Kids are always at the receiving end, guys. Please, we don't want to make decisions. It's a selfish decision. At the end of it, consider your kids. Consider your unborn children. Beyonce doesn't have any business with the kids. Like the way they are even saying, like, they're entitled to Beyonce's attention, to Beyonce's time. Like, it's none of her business. But in interview will cost more harm than good. Please just hide your feet. Lay low. Just leave a really big lesson, especially to the ladies, because you are always at the receiving end. At the end of the day, it's not even about you. It's about your kids, the future. Now, the boy is feeling rejected. That he has a superstar sister somewhere that doesn't know about him, that doesn't care about him, he's to hold on to. The way you want to misbehave, you want to have a fling with consider your children, consider the future, that's what matters. Guys, I hope you learned one or two from this video. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.